so I've been screening and putting down pavers for several days and these are the kinds of pavers I got from Lowe's uh, they're going out really nice and as you can see which is I'm real pleased about the pavers are right on par are right even with my mason string and I've checked them with a the level they're following the slope really nice I went through the six foot level in both directions uh, putting the level down going all the way through and just kind of checking high spots and hitting them down with a dead blow hammer to try to level it up doesn't have to be perfect but trying to get some high spots leveled up a little bit because some of them were a little bit maybe a sixteenth of an inch higher than other spots that kind of thing so just trying to go through and level them up just so you don't have anything to kind of stub your toe on or something uh, I did a cut out for the gas line here I just took a saw with a diamond blade cut it out chipped it out and then this is where the fire pit's going to be for now I'm just putting down these stones and what I'm going to do is take a suggestion as I've seen online I'm going to actually put down retaining wall blocks around the, the first layer and the bricks around those how they're actually going to be how they need to be cut whatever to get the dimensions I need and then I'm going to make the markings on the stone the paver the patio pavers and then cut them out uh, so that the retaining wall block zones are going to be sitting on the gravel I think it's it's a better way to do that probably more stable so I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll cut that out with the diamond saw as well so that'll be I also am having to figure out how I need to make cuts and stuff to get my edges um, I, these edges here I'm going to be doing a brick on the outside of them and it'll leave me about a seven inch border that I'm going to be doing in decorative stone so I want this edge this edge this edge this edge you get the idea to basically be the same width so it's kind of symmetrical so I'm gonna to have to do a lot of cuts all these stones on this edges I'm gonna to have to make like five inch cuts here I think about six inch cuts all the way down here uh, maybe a little more I have to measure it again over here and I want to round the corners off and that's gonna be a little challenging too but I want the brick border and the paper border to be rounded to mirror the rounded corners I think it'll look better that way and it'll look more like it's a part of it so anyway that's what I'm doing